encourage the people who have left and who, who gained prominence now in the world. Your beginning started right there. You began right there. You are now doctor so-and-so and lawyer this and that. And, and um, you know, nurse so-and-so and whatever, whatever. Please, I'm asking you, come back. The bell rings. A call to action again. The call to action has not fallen in deaf ears. Past student after past student has been answering the call. And this time, Professor Wesley Palmer is answering. Hello, my name is Wesley Palmer. Uh, I am from the outside, well, Thompson Town District. Uh, I, I spent just two years in, at the Wars of All Age School. I then head uh, to, to Albert Town because I did not take the gradient achievement. Uh, so I went to Albert Town to do the entry test. So uh, when we went there to do the entry test, we had approximately 200 students came to do the entry test from Litfield, Waterbed, Freeman's Hall, and uh, from the Wars of area. And I'm telling you, uh, of all those students that sat there, approximately 200 of us, uh, only two students passed the exam. And those two students were uh, Wesley Palmer and Ricardo Taylor. So uh, I credit that, uh, that, that moment to, to the preparation I got from the Wars of All Age School. Now, uh, I have gone on to do some more, some further studies. Uh, I have uh, completed a uh, bachelor in uh, management, a person management, and a second bachelor in economics. And then I, I also did a MBA in accounting and a PhD in management and organization science. Uh, in terms of career, I am a professor at, at the University of New York. I teach uh, operations management and information technology. Uh, in terms of charity, uh, I've been involved in charity. I set up a new organization called Precursor Human uh, Capital Development. And that organization is helping uh, uh, students who are in need uh, with laptops uh, and educational tools. Dr. Palmer and his organization have been doing exceptional work, not just internationally, but also right here in Jamaica. Well, we also involved in doing international work. We are presently working with, with Haiti. Uh, we, we are sponsoring students in Haiti. Uh, we are also sponsoring students in Ghana. We have students in uh, Central University of Ghana. We, uh, we have been people in Nigeria. Uh, and, uh, and, and of course, Jamaica. So we've been pretty much busy helping people. Recently, through this medium, Dr. Palmer heard the bell ringing and the principal's appeal. The appeal was touching. And this is Dr. Palmer's response. So my name is Earl Simpson, and I'm here presenting these tablets on behalf of the Precursor of Human Development Capital, Inc. Now, this is a non-profit organization in the United States and they have seen it fit to donate, to contribute these devices for the benefit of these students. So and there they are from presenting uh, these units. There are six of them. We have three at this moment. So it's my pleasure to present these units to you, Mrs. Anderson May. Thank you, sir. On behalf of the Principal, staff, and students of the Wars of Primary Infant School, we want to thank the organization for considering the Wars of Primary Infant School to donate these six units to help us um, advance our students as they move closer to the 22nd century learning. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. And I, I, I'll convey your, your thanks and appreciation to the organization. And quite frankly, it's my pleasure to have been able to, to be involved in this. Thank you, I'm so proud of the organization. And I hope that this will go well for the benefit of these students. Thank and that you, they might uh, be able to access the internet. They might be able to 
complete their schoolwork, whatever it is, and they might excel in education and become very notable, excellent examples for this community. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Much like many other past students, some of whom have appeared on this medium, Dr. Palmer is both proud and fond of his worship school heritage. I, 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 there are some fun things that I, I, I recall right off the bat uh, was, you know, um, the games we used to play, uh, primarily cricket. Uh, we have the PE, what we call PE, uh, physical education, and that was done by uh, Tony Simmet. And that was like once a week and for about an hour, hour and a half, maybe about hour and a half, I would say. And, and that was pretty much a uh, fun time. Uh, but the primary goal uh, for our physical education was to teach us, teach us how to play cricket and, and, teach us, and teach us endurance. So we would run around the field and run around the field until we were tired. And then once we were tired, we sat down and rested and got up. And then he would place us at strategic uh, points on the, on the playground and throw the ball to us. You got to pay attention because you never know who the ball is going to get thrown to next and you got to catch the ball. If you didn't catch that ball, it would stray right into the farm, into the field, the young field next door and it's difficult when the ball go inside here to find that ball. So you want to save yourself the trouble and catch the ball. And then after we after we get um, that training how to catch the ball, then we would do the batting of the ball and we and and that part was, was, was fun because we were trying to uh, he was teaching us how to, how to bat the ball, but we were just trying to, to hit six and fours. So, uh, so that was the really fun time. Uh, also, I like what we had there. There, there are some ladies out front used to sell jobs and, and flitters and, and pawns, and we used to go out there and we this time and, and buy those, and that was good time too. That was fun time to eat all that stuff. And then after that, um, the bell ring, uh, we would run back to class and I remember what I used to like to do was to slide on that rail right down to my classroom. And as always, there are the teachers a past student can never forget. Uh, two, two people who, who really impacted me uh, at the school was uh, Principal uh, Peart and Miss Brown. Principal Peart was, was fun for me. Uh, he would always have that long strap, but I never got punished. Uh, every time I went to Teacher Spirit's office was to was to share pleasantries and say hello to him and sat down and talk. Basically, that that was it. Uh, but Miss uh, Miss Miss Brown was great. Uh, she has a very great strategic uh, approach to teaching. Uh, we have many subjects, and she uh, wanted us to study. And in the way to get us to study, she basically would uh whenever we come to class just throw out questions from any subject if you were able to answer the the, the questions uh, that was good sometimes the question would go around and around and around and people would take a guess at it but would not know the, the answer and then it would go back to miss brown and she would answer the question but if you were able to answer the question you were considered a bright student and get a lot of respect and props from your peers uh, so, so those were great times, a great experience that I, I share um, within my two years uh, at the Wars of All Air School. When I finish. We do not ask for a lot. We ask for what you can afford. Um, because as you know, our, our parents are predominantly farmers. And uh, it is not, it, uh, uh, they, they do not always have it. But these are parents who believe in education. And so any help that they get would really be appreciated. And so for even, even if it is a $5,000, and I'm talking Jamaican now, or, or $10,000, we, what we receive is how we market it that will make a difference. So the, the person who, who contributes $50,000 is the same, is the same fervency we 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 received the five thousand with and 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 we really heap praises on that whatever we receive and 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 um so there are always need needs that the students will have books uniforms school shoes pencils you know crayons play-doh 
um, stuffed toys, all of these things, um, tablets, now that we are on the, 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 the technology highway. Um, so all, anything at all that can help to make the students feel more comfortable and achieve more in, in, in their, you know, primary school education would be greatly appreciated, you know. A person coming from overseas and even if it is a pack of pencil, you know, if it is a pack of crayons, these are greatly appreciated. Because if, we, if, if a child cannot read, we do not plan to leave the child behind. Maybe the child will be able to express him or herself through art. And so we try to develop a child holistically, you know, um, musical instrument, whatever it is that you can donate would be greatly appreciated. Yeah.